Hello, good afternoon. Hope you're okay. Um, let's today, let's talk about private agreements because there's a lot of confusion over private agreements and quite often on the various different Facebook groups about child maintenance. And if you're not on a Facebook group, just type in child maintenance in Facebook, Facebook and you should be able to find a Facebook group. Um, a lot of confusion about private arrangements. Okay, so let's start at the very basics. So with the CMS, the Child Maintenance Service, they are a government agency. They are part of the Department of Work and Pensions and any parent can go to the Child Maintenance Service and open a case. And if they open a case, there is no private agreement. You have, if a case is opened, it is an official Child Maintenance Service case and obviously Child Maintenance Service rules apply in terms of how uh, the Child Maintenance Service enforce that and their policies, uh, such as when child maintenance stops. Now, a private agreement is exactly that. It's something you've done yourself between the two parents without any CMS involvement whatsoever. Okay, so what isn't a private agreement is where the CMS send a letter, send a payment plan, and then the parties between themselves agree to ignore that plan and have their own plan. The trouble is what happens often is six months down the line, that plan falls apart. And I call this the private arrangements trap. This is where there is an official CMS case open and then you decide to do something between yourselves, such as pay a certain amount, or pay for the school trips instead of actually giving money, or pay for a new computer, a new laptop, or whatever you're gonna pay for, okay? But because the CMS don't know about it, the case is still running. And at any point, the person receiving the money, the resident parent can go to the CMS and say, I've not been paid. And all those things you've done privately, okay, those school trips, those laptops, computers, those mobile phones, and all that stuff you've been paying for doesn't actually count because you've not stuck to the CMS payment schedule. So just be aware of that. That's the private arrangements trap. So whenever you decide amongst yourselves to do something, you must get the case closed with CMS and you know a case is closed when you receive a case closure letter when you can, you know, when, when you get a letter that says the case is now closed. If you haven't got a letter, the case is not closed. And at some point in the future, you might well get a demand for arrears because you've not paid. Okay. Now, can I stop a private arrangement? Well, a private arrangement is exactly that. So, if there has been no CMS case whatsoever, there's been no case opening letter, and it is a genuine a private arrangement between two parties, okay, where A pays B, and that's what they've agreed, okay, you can stop that at any time. There is no requirement, for example, for you to uh, wait until the child finishes education. Obviously, if you don't wait till a child finishes education, the other parent may go to the CMS anyway, okay? But it's now um, it's now July, it's nearly August. So a lot of um, children have finished their A-levels. And what I'm finding on Facebook is people are asking questions such as, I've got a private arrangement, can I stop child maintenance? Well, yes, you can, because it's private, okay? If you are a CMS case, they rely on child benefit, okay, as, as a check. And what they would do is they would do a child benefit check and as long as that child benefit is being paid, you would be expected to pay CMS, okay? And the way it works with child benefit is child benefit is run by HMRC, it's not part of the DWP, okay? But when a child does their, finishes college, their, their A-levels in the summer, Okay, that child benefit is paid up until the next terminal date, which is the 31st of August. So if you've got a child that has done their A-levels and then are going off to university 
on the 31st of August, that child benefit will stop. Just a reminder, child maintenance is not payable under CMS rules for child university. If you've got your own arrangement though, and you've arranged to pay for the child, that's your private arrangement. But again, because it's a private arrangement, you can stop. So if you feel that your kids have done their education now and you want to stop today, rather than wait to the end of August, like the CMS uh, would bill you to, that's entirely up to you. It's your private arrangement. So you can stop that. You can stop it now if you really want to. Okay, And there's no sort of official confirmation as to when I stop because the early official confirmations are for when there's a court order in place or a child maintenance case. Private arrangements strictly between yourselves, okay? So if, you're, if you have a child that's left college and you want to stop now, you can. So there is no legal obligation to pay child maintenance, but there is obviously a moral obligation, okay? And obviously, you may want to consider before you stop paying that child maintenance whether you're doing the right thing for your children. What a lot of people do at this stage, where it's a private arrangement, is they actually come to the arrangement with the children. They could, they stop the payments to their parent, okay, and they come to the arrangement with the children. And often, when they finish A levels, what that means is they help support that child through university. And obviously, you know, between you and I, that's probably the right thing to do, isn't it? You know. Look after, look after your children and support them for their education, okay? So I think that covers it. Private arrangements are exactly that. Be aware of the private arrangements trap, so don't make your own arrangements once you've got a CMS letter. Don't get tricked into making your arrangements, okay? Make sure you get that CMS closure letter before you work out your payments as per your private arrangement, else you'll get stuck at some point in the future. And that's all I'm going to say today, okay? If I could ask a favour from you, though, if you can like and subscribe to this video, it helps with the YouTube algorithm, okay? And then more people see, see this video. And obviously, if you subscribe, you will get um, my, my weekly emails straight to your YouTube inbox, so you won't miss one. Okay, brilliant. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, and I look forward to producing a video for you this week for you to watch next week. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Good to see you later. Bye-bye.